Hey, from marketwizards.com and eminiwizard.com, reminding traders to use risk capital you can afford to lose if you're playing this game. And it is about quarter after 11, 27th of February 2019. And I can tell you this, <clears throat> no matter how long you have traded, <clears throat> there's always something new to learn and some things you're going to miss and some trades you're going to miss and some trades you'll get right. But develop a style that works for you. Try to learn from other traders, but internalize it and make it your own. This is a 15-minute RTH chart, and this blue box I put here is showing you the RTH range that really has not been traded since the 22nd of February. And one of the things that, that we like to look at um, are what we call arches. And in a bigger picture, you can see the high-level base, and we get to a new level, and then we've come back and pull back and this is the first time back into this range it, hitting the rain line on a 15 rth and we can get snaps we've said <clears throat> when we get the umbrella trade this is not an umbrella trade on this chart because this is beneath us this this magenta colored line So on this chart, this is not an umbrella trade. <clears throat> and that's why these type of trades are sharp and fast and hard. But you also have to be aware <clears throat> that un until all of these are underneath this, that's going to be a much more powerful umbrella trade. Above it, no. <clears throat> so now the slope obviously has to do with this range. So going to take it on a 15 to explain that better. Same thing we always do. The battlefield between these moving averages. And that's on a five minute, uh, 15 minute chart. Which a bigger trader is certainly going to be looking at. So that's one of the reasons why in a day like today, you have to be somewhat conservative getting near these lows because it's the first time back here. And what looks like a done deal for one more point. Traders are getting back 10, eight to 10. And here's our five. Market has had a very healthy bounce. Retest in this 85 zone. <clears throat> Probably caught a few late shorts under that 78 target. Primary target is usually the T1 and T2 is be careful because that's an area where usually we'll get profit taking. Doesn't negate the target, but we call it support target <clears throat> because you assume you're on, on a banana peel at that point. You want that last point or two, that's the one that gets you. We've said, make sure you're paid by 85s if you're long. <clears throat> and good possibility this 85 to 87 and a half is the current resistance. And we know that <clears throat> we have come back into the middle from the day's range. Market will continue to do this type of movement every day. 
<clears throat> you'll come back usually to your 456. The trick is, is the low in or not? If the low is in at the time, then you will get your bounce back to the middle. If it's not in, then you won't. So you don't know until hindsight, really. But very helpful once, <clears throat> once it starts to bounce and you see your whack-a-mole trades. And because this is a sharp, sharp move, you can retrace it because it's not auctioned. So we need another re-auction. Suggested today, do not get caught at lows. It could be <clears throat> Taylor Day 3. We won't know until hindsight. We said we had the right to hit bounces, but don't know whether we will take out our original lows or not. We're going to pay attention to this area today, 83s, kind of an important neighborhood for continuation below it. Or back in retesting yesterday's range. Primary trade will be ending... <clears throat> within a half an hour. And currently that 87 half, 88 area, big idea of resistance right now. That area's got a hold or we can still come back up and retest the highs. I've got 81 and a quarter angel. And this is the weekly chart. So <clears throat> obviously what we're looking at here is the fighting range. And this is the reason why I paid by 85. Above it, good fortune. Then you're in the next box. <clears throat> Certainly not a lot of energy down here under 80 yet. We had said earlier today, if this low broke, <clears throat> that it opened the door to 74s to 72s. So far, not hit, but close. Game of inches. And here's your two-day range. 85, 75 would be the 40 back. Support zone. <clears throat> fighting box just left. Now this is our fighting box and theoretically our resistance box and the three box move. Don't stay focused one way today. I said I think we've got a two-way day. And the last thing I want to do is get caught because we've come a long way. And you guys that are trading the NASDAQ, this just set up your chart same way. Just set up a new workspace and <clears throat> let it go. Those of you who have the uh, spreadsheets, <clears throat> look at the bottom of <laughs> your um, trader's GPS. And you will see how important that 73 and a half is based on, you know, one of our systems. And that's holding right now. Risk and reward. Probably have uh, one more short today. Spread your trades out, morning, very little at lunch, and then take an afternoon trade. Thank you, Zeke. 
Uh, Brian just printed 87 and a quarter is the <coughs> scene of the crime newsprint. I still say if you're long, gravy above 85. 